All right, so there's this trend I've read about. It's called raw dogging on airplane flights, okay? And uh, it's about unplugging, not listening to music, not watching movies, not reading, just basically being there. And I would add, uh, don't even watch the uh, plane flight, the flighting, you know, the flight journey of the flight. And I was thinking, this could be a great spiritual practice, right? Basically, use it as a meditation to be present in the now moment, right? So not only use it on the airplane, but use it in your everyday life. Raw dog it during your day, during lunchtime, you know, instead of, you know, eating and scrolling through Instagram or whatever social media you use. Just eat and be present with the food. Right? After dinner. See? We, we, we are a noisy culture. We can't even drive without music. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Okay. I'm just saying that if you want to awaken if you want to transform your life, if you want to get out of the dream of samsara, if you want to become an enlightened being, you have to get out of this, this craziness of being plugged in constantly 24 seven. Since technology has proliferated over the last couple decades, we, we have been sort of plugged into the matrix of samsara. So unplugging from the entertainment, unplugging from the constant having to be, uh, you know, notification, having to watch the news, having the comment on this website or this YouTube video, even this YouTube video. Okay. I'll just be honest with you. A any YouTube video, sometimes even spiritual ones, sometimes you just need to unplug. Okay. Because your, your consciousness, your enlightenment is more important than listening to some podcast or listening to some music or watching this event or watching sports, watching blah, 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 blah. And I like sports and I like music, okay? So I'm not saying they're necessary, necessarily bad. But I went through a process of unplugging a lot from this world of technological, uh, tech, technological, uh, brah this grip, this attachment, that's a good word. We're attached to technology and it's a monster. It sort of has us by the, by the, I was going to say balls, but you know, for everybody out there, it, it has us by the grip. Maybe by the neck is a good, better 
analogy, okay? This isn't a G-rated spiritual channel. And we created it. We created this technology to keep us fixated in our delusion. We created the ego consciousness, created all these distractions, all this technology to keep us from knowing our eternal truth. Oh, we think we're in control. No, 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 no. The technology is controlling us. And since everybody's doing it, since everybody is being controlled by it, we think that it's normal. We think that being lost in the dream is normal. It's actually abnormal. It's not your truth. It keeps, this technology keeps your identity, your ego, you know, it, cre it just creates more and more of a, a bubble of, of, of armor around your ego. So raw dogging is a great um, way to unplug. Okay, and I'm not and I'm not talking about even though this is a this isn't a G-rated channel. I'm not talking about raw dogging the uh, the the other the slang version. All right. I'm talking about the recent trend of being on the uh, going on planes and unplugging. We need to be uh, we need to unplug. That's why people go on retreats. That's why retreats are necessary in our modern world. However, I will say that we could use each day and each week, you know, um, uh, segments of our day, a half hour, an hour. And don't give me this. I, I'm sort of like, oh, 15 minutes. I'll take 15 minutes. Screw that. You could, you could find a, a half hour. Okay. Come on. You could find a half hour out of your day to raw dog and be present and just be with what is, okay? And at first it's hard. I totally understand. It's like you're meditating. Raw dogging is basically a spiritual practice to meditate in everyday life. But we need to make it trendy. We need to make it we need to make it more trendy. Thank you. But I don't know if it will become trendy because the uh, egoic consciousness is very trendy. This spirituality of slowing down of awakening to your yes there you go i got a little again confirmation from the bus it's about 
This spirituality is about slowing down. It's about not being engaged in the world in, in a superficial way. It's about retreating from the egoic craziness of violence and hatred and judgment and I me mine, you know, every of being filtered through I me mine energy. So spiritual raw dogging, and that's what I'm going to label this. Spiritual raw dogging maybe might be trendy in spiritual circles, right? But it's basically just a, 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 another way of saying I'm being present with what is, accepting what is, surrendering to what is, giving up control and, and allowing source, God, your Buddha nature to live through you, to flow through you. But that can't happen if you're constantly plugged in to technology. That can't happen if you're constantly plugged into, I need this, you know, distractions. That can't happen if you're constantly I need to do this. I need, you know, doing, doing energy. And I'm not saying doing is, is necessarily bad, but I'm just saying we become obsessed with constantly doing rather than being. So Raw dogging, spiritual raw dogging is focusing on being, not doing. See, when you're on the airplane, we bring this ego of consciousness onto the plane. Say you got like a five hour flight. Well, of course, the mind has to be occupied. So you, you know, you bring a book, you bring your, your hell phone, uh, hell, hell phones. Oh, you know, that's a good, you know, uh, uh, uh cell phones. I was going to say ear. I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say, uh, uh, earphones or whatever, but hell phones. I like that. I mean, your, your cell phones are a hell phone. I like that. I like that little slip I made because it keeps us in hell. It keeps us in the metaphorical hell of delusion, of the dream, right? So you bring your hell phones with you. You bring your iPad or, or, or you purchase movie, you know, or, or you watch the screen. So you can't, you're constantly gearing up for a five hour, basically, uh, you're gearing up for a five hour trip into samsara, basically. Basically, every time you book a flight, you're basically booking a flight into samsara, okay? Think of it that way. Yeah, I just... Uh... I just went on, uh, what are some of those 
sites called, uh, you know, cheap flights or I, I don't know. I, I forget what they're just, you know, you're, you're, you're on your computer, you're buying a flight. All right. Oh, seven hour flight from here to, I don't know, Paris or whatever it is. And, uh, okay. You just purchase it. No, 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 no. It's, it's not a flight to Paris. It's a flight in Samsara. Okay. Think of it that way. It's a flight in delusion. That's all what you're doing. So, so this could be a powerful spiritual practice, raw dogging on planes, or you could do it, I mean, in everyday life, you know. Whenever you have a half hour, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, Eckhart Tolle's nice. He says, oh, you could take five minutes or 10 minutes, you know, to be present. I'm like, screw that. You could take 30 minutes, okay? You could, I know you could take 30 minutes, okay? There's not somebody out there who's constantly, except Elon Musk, but I'm sure he could do it too. You know, who's, who's always busy, doesn't have 30 minutes to meditate, to unplug, okay? I, or you can make it seriously. If, if it's important to you to get to end suffering, to get out of the delusions, you, you will find the time. Okay. So yeah, so raw dogging in your everyday life, spiritual raw dogging. I love it. And, uh, maybe you guys can make a trend out of this. I don't know, but, um, and uh, I hope maybe some people will awaken from this. Who knows? I don't know. You know, stranger things have happened. But uh, but the goal is not for that to happen. But it, in a way it is. But the goal is to notice how caught up in the prison of samsara you are in delusions you are in technology that you are okay and know that you could break free from that all right so spiritual raw dogs out there i love it it takes a spiritual warrior attitude yeah i love it all right so hopefully this has been helpful and love you and until we meet again next time in the Spiritual ward, uh, war, <laughs> spiritual raw dog of this beautiful, beautiful now moment.